Hey guys, I'm here, also known as 8 Funnelo, bringing you all another video. We have a VCLT unboxing for you guys today. I've got uh, this bad boy, this package here. This is from my buddy Mike over at Mike Guitar Player 07. And uh, he sent this as a birthday slash housewarming gift. So thank you so much, Mike, in advance. We call this the Lost Package because it went on a little journey, but it finally made its way here. Uh, it was hiding in Missouri for about a week, a week and a half. So I hope that, uh, that it enjoyed its time in Missouri and, you know, all that fun stuff. But I'm happy that it finally made its way uh, here. So Mike, thank you again. I'm so happy that uh, the package is done with its little uh, rebellious track that it was on and it's finally here so i'm excited to do this unboxing we're gonna get right to it and see what mike sent my way i am very excited pre-scored the boxes but we're going to do the final rip here and get going so apparently i, I can't do these unboxings ever work out with me figuring out how to get the box prepared for this all right so we're opening the box up here and uh, we'll get going all right, so we're gonna pull this open and uh, bubble wrap. I thought that was gonna stick. That was kind of cool. All right, the first thing here is something right on top. I don't feel a note or anything, so sorry if I missed that, but we have something right on top here and it is very cool. So this is Queen's Greatest Hits, uh, volume one and volume two, I believe. This is awesome. So, like I said, we're in this, or I don't know if I said, but I've mentioned it before. Mike and I, Marikin, Dylan at the Record Spinner, Jenna at Spins and Needles. We're in a group chat, youngest people in the VC, and we constantly talk about music and what we're currently listening to, what we should get into. And everybody's getting on my case about Queen. Uh, just, I like Queen, but I just haven't picked them up. Marikin for my birthday, she sent me uh, their debut album and A Night at the Opera, two classic Queen records that I have listened to, and it was fantastic. Night at the Opera, I was familiar with their debut, I was not, and I have to say, their debut kicks butt. So that's kind of my overview, uh, first listen of that. But it's very cool to now have uh, their kind of greatest hits compilations together so I can can give this a listen. So Mike, thank you. I'm excited for that. This is like a book or a magazine maybe. We have Guitar Player Magazine with Jeff Beck. Funny story about this, I have a bunch of Guitar Player Magazines. I'm not even kidding. I have a little table here and underneath I put some magazines because it's kind of like a, you know, like a book magazine holder and I, let me, let me get this. This is gonna be awesome for my collection. I don't know if I told you that I collect guitar player magazines, but let me show you. Literally right here, I'm not even gonna edit this. Right here next to me, we have a bunch of guitar player magazines. So this is hilarious. Um, Jeff Beck, absolutely adore. One of the best guitarists, British guitarists, fantastic. One of my favorite albums is uh, from Jeff Beck called Truth. Uh, I've talked about that album a million times. I'm kind of blabbering, so we're going to continue. But this is awesome and a great addition to uh, to the collection. Ten Secrets of Mike Bloomfield on here, who I adore as well. So absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Mike. I do see a letter in here now. So it's attached to this. So I'm going to pull that out. And I see Johnny Cash... Uh, Folsom Prison. Classic album that I do not have. I didn't mean to ruin the surprise there, but I saw it. I saw his ear. Everybody knows that ear um, from the covers. This is awesome. You know, I definitely need Johnny Cash in my collection. I finally picked up uh, 16 Essential Johnny Cash. It was a compilation album, uh, but this adding Folsom Prison to the collection is an essential album for any collection. There's also a cassette in here and it is Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell. Also starting to collect cassettes. He's just on it today. 
And uh, this is an album that I am not, I mean, I'm familiar with it. Of course, it's a classic, you know, heavy rock album. I just don't own this on any platform. So now I do. I'll definitely give this a listen and let you know what I think about it. But uh, Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison, an essential album for any collection that I didn't have. And now I do. Um, so thank you so much, Mike, for my label fans out there we got that beautiful 2i columbia um so this is absolutely incredible very excited to to listen to this and add this classic album to my collection i'm gonna keep the note to the side just because there's something else in here i think or a few things in here first thing here we have we have john denver's back home again so um, this is awesome too. Also in the group chat, we've, we've been talking about John Denver. I don't know anything about Jen, D John Denver, to be completely honest with you. I have his greatest hits. I still don't even, maybe like one or two songs I know by John Denver. So I know that Dylan at the Record Spinner and Mike, they absolutely adore John Denver. We were talking about it in one of the videos. I'll try to link it below if I remember. Um, but yeah, John Denver is just not an artist that I have kind of explored yet so another great addition we have some johnny cash john denver queen meatloaf and i think there's one left in here um but i am very excited to give this a listen as well gate fold one last thing in here i think yes we have yes um this is awesome yes 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 this is probably one of ZZ Top's best records. And this is an album I have wanted for a very, very long time. I've always enjoyed ZZ Top, but I saw them live perform with Cheap Trick last summer and I just fell in love with them. What a great live band. They're fantastic. And it was their 50th anniversary and I'm just sitting there thinking the entire time, 50 years and you got the original guys going at it on stage at that level. Absolutely phenomenal. So like I said, one of ZZ Top's best, um, Trace Ombres, that one I got from um, Legendary Jim in a package and that is high on my ZZ Top list as well, but so is this one. Classic ZZ Top album. I am surprised that uh, that he even thought about this. I don't even remember talking about this with Mike. Maybe I did, uh, but what a absolute surprise. <laughs> this is so awesome. I cannot wait to listen to this, Mike. Thank you so much. So he says, Emma, happy birth. <laughs> birth. Seriously, it just says birth. Uh, let's party it up VC style with some records. The first record is my favorite live album of all time, Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. This is a must have live record for any collection. Agreed. You also need everybody out there who has a record collection. If you don't have live at Budokan, do you even have a record collection? I may be slightly biased, maybe LOL, but truly is great. Same here. Uh, next, you have yourself one of my fav personal favorite John Denver releases, Back Home Again. This is actually this is a truly flawless album. The guitar work, musical melodies, lyrics are all just so good. I talked about this record in the 1974 VC video chat. I knew it. Uh, the final vinyl is an album I know you've been wanting. ZZ Top's uh, Cheap Sunglasses hit making album. This is my favorite of ZZ Top's I'm sorry. I, you guys know I can't read. Fun fact of the day. I hope you enjoy it just as much, but that is not all. I believe I can speak for all the youngest people in the VC when I say you need some queen in your collection. On CD, I have included Greatest Hits Volume 1 and 2. Volume 1 is the original 1970s version. They changed it up in the 1990s. Recently, you got a cassette player, and I thought you'd enjoy some Bad Out of Hell. I am sure you already know this gem of an album. I recently was given a collection of old music mags and thought you would enjoy or like this guitar player from June 2010. Why? Because Jeff Beck. True. Uh, I hope your birthday, uh, 
uh, and you enjoy your new musical goodies, I always am greatly appreciative of you and our friendship. Your pal Mike from My Guitar Player 07. Um, Mike, thank you so much. Uh, this is incredible. So that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much again, Mike. This is absolutely awesome. Uh, I cannot wait to spin these albums and cassettes and CDs and give them a listen. So Mike, thank you so much again. As for the rest of you watching, I hope that you are all doing well, staying safe out there, and I will see you guys for my next video. Bye guys.